how you can earn some free customization within Halo Infinite this weekend, as well as it looks like we'll be getting some information about next week's patch for Halo Infinite. And Mario Donald is suing Microsoft, which could potentially delay the Halo TV show. If you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you some Halo news and information. If you like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure you tap subscribe guys. Keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the content here. So you heard me right. You can earn some free customization within Halo Infinite this weekend by watching the Anaheim event, which is probably going on right now as this video is live at the moment. But basically all you need to do is just log in to Twitch, watch for at least three hours grand total, and you earn yourself a HDS Winter Assault Rifle, Sidekick, and Battle Rifle coating. As long as you link your Microsoft account with your Twitch account, it's pretty straightforward. That leads you step-by-step -step how to do it on the, the Twitch website. And you can earn the set, which I did the first day, and now I have it. It looks pretty freaking awesome. I took some in-game screenshots for you guys to kind of see how it looks in-game, actually, because sometimes they don't really look one-to-one -one exactly. This is the Battle Rifle. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Then we also got another one here of the Sidekick, which, again, looks pretty sweet. Uh, just some nice red and blue and a little bit of white accents in there, which has caused some issue within the community here, which we definitely are going to cover in just a second here. I do love how my Assault Rifle looks with, like, this Eagle Head attachment on top of the Assault Rifle. It just looks so good i love it now the reason why i say it's caused some issues within the community because some eagled eyed content creators out there have noticed that it looks very familiar to the 152 coding which if you don't remember if you grinded all the way up to 152 in halo 5 you got the watchdog coding which looks great on the weapons not so much on the armor but that's a different story uh but <laughs> some of them look a little too familiar which Again, like the, the, you probably can't even tell the difference between the pictures. This is the HCS coating that we just received for this weekend. And then this is the Watchdog coating. Now the Assault Rifle definitely looks different. The Battle Rifle looks a little different, but especially while you're holding the weapon of the Sidekick, it definitely looks very similar to the Watchdog coating right here. And this is the, <laughs> the coating for the HCS Winter. So you can kind of see like, yeah, I can understand how people who grind it out to 152 to get this really kind of unique, cool looking coating uh, feel kind of screwed over. Here is the side by side comparison if you want to see exactly how the differences look. Uh, that yeah, they do look very similar. Uh, just like some blue accents kind of added onto the watchdog coating essentially, which again, like I can imagine if you are a person who grind out to 152, you'd be a little upset because you effectively have the same coating with HCS Winter that people were able to get for just watching Twitch streams this weekend. Now, I personally did not grind out to 152, and that's mainly because I figured that there would be other coatings out there that would look cool enough that I would just be willing to have those instead. Uh, I wasn't willing to just like tarnish my memories of Halo 5 by mindlessly grinding out Warzone challenges until the point where I just hate the game, you know what I mean? And like the coating looks great for a watchdog, don't get me wrong, but uh, it just, that it doesn't look unique or cool enough to where it'd make me want to just like make me just grind out Halo 5 to an absurd degree. But there is more when it comes to coatings you guys can pick up for free. There is the past tense BR75 coating bundle that they have right now going on with your Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You also get an XP boost and a channel swap on top of that. Now, I've gotten plenty of questions how to figure it out, how to unlock these. I actually had some issues trying to do it as well. I'll run th through it real quick with you guys. So the only way I've known how to do this is with the Xbox app that you can have. And basically you can see there's a little perk button right here. You click on the perk button right there to kind of get you into the page for your Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership users, such as myself, which I really should degrade just the PC because I haven't used my Xbox in an incredibly long time. Here you can redeem various codes and it will show up with your Halo Infinite code right here. Basically you just click on that click redeem online, it will take you to Halo Waypoint where you click redeem there and you're able to add it to your codings. So jump on this when you can guys, this is essentially free. You obviously have to buy into Game Pass Ultimate to get this kind of perk, but hey, it's more customization, which I'd say right now we're still kind of a little bit light on the customization options in Halo Infinite. So 
give it a go guys jump in redeem your codes here we got a confirmation that in the week upcoming here guys will be the mid-february patch at least hopefully this looks like we'll, we'll be getting some information about this like it actually is happening next week about our boy patman gaming if you don't subscribe to him on youtube definitely go check him out basically just getting some clarification saying that the update that we had recently with desync stuff like that that's something completely different than the ranked changes and also the mid-february patch update Unishrike goes on here saying, correct, yesterday's two matchmaking posts, which for 15 pages long, he says, which sounds about right, uh, were the main focus for the comms this week. Next week, which is will be the mid-February patch, hopefully, we'll have more to share too. So a lot more information coming for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will definitely will be covering it on the channel as soon as we get some actual information about what's going in that mid-February patch, because this is going to be a big one, guys. This is going to be a game-changing kind of patch. And for our next news story here, guys, it says right here that the original Halo composers sue Microsoft over unpaid royalties and it could delay the Paramount TV show, which I hear that I'm like, what? There's no way. But it kind of seems like it would make sense, especially if Marty O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore were correct in their lawsuit that they put out here. So, but basically, they're saying they're trying to get back like royalties that they haven't been paid in over 20 years in unpaid royalties, which seems a bit ridiculous that if that's real like they didn't receive any royalties for 20 years i feel like this should have happened by now if that was going to happen and i would think that michael probably had some legal standing with the whole thing but they do state that with mario donald and michael Salvatore are also exploring the options of securing an injection on paramount's upcoming halo tv series if the injection is secured it could cause the show to be delayed which i'm like bro Marty, don't don't do this to me, man. I've been, I, I need the show so much. I want to see this show, man. But don't don't do me like that, man. But I mean, obviously, you know, he deserves what you know he helped create some of the most iconic music in gaming ever. Well, kind of makes sense that they want to do it. They do state here with Marty O'Donnell told Eurogamer here that him and Salvatore have been attempting to get the royalties from Microsoft for over a decade now at this point so i don't know what's gonna really change so i think right now i think we're fine but if they find some new kind of legal standing then things could really be kind of spicy for the microsoft side of things because uh, microsoft's counterclaim here it declares that the composers for halo score actually qualified under work for hire if proven to be the case, Microsoft would be the owners of that work because obviously this is Microsoft for the publishers. They helped fund the whole thing. They kind of just own the rights to the whole thing. So that's probably why they're not getting any money for their uh, efforts. But then Mario O'Donnell states like, well, it certainly wasn't feeling like it was uh, work for hire. We were definitely, you know, there for as licensed you know, work that, you know, they provided for Microsoft. So. I mean, like, it's kind of like work for hire, but not really, because obviously Marty O'Donnell was a full-time employee at Bungie, Bungie being fully funded by Microsoft at that time. It doesn't really, to me, it doesn't seem it lines up. Of course, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the details when it comes to this lawsuit, but you can kind of see how Marty has an argument while Microsoft also has their own argument on top of that. Uh, but they do stay here saying that, uh, this is a quote from Marty O'Donnell, uh, saying that this Paramount thing just showed up on TV and Mike and I felt very disrespected, which is kind of oof, a little stiff right there to say right there at least. Uh, having a connection to ancillary revenue from exploiting the original Halo music is exactly what this contract is all about. Since we filed two years ago, we've continued to ignore the terms. Now they're about to broadcast a Halo TV show and are using our Monk chant, calling it the theme to Halo. So to advertise and solicit subscriptions to Paramount Plus. So yeah, I would think that they would be able to get some form of you know royalties from the work that they've done because Microsoft is using their work and profiting off of it for sure though it's i don't know it's a legal gray area like it, it seems like marty should be getting you know money from this but maybe that's just not how the contract was originally written now or something like that something's going on this is a developing story so i certainly will follow it on the channel here guys if any new developments happen especially if the show gets delayed because of this whole thing you definitely know i'm going to share it with you guys on the channel because i would hate to see that happen but you know i definitely want to see marty properly redeemed for his work uh on halo because it's iconic and definitely you know an amazing piece that you know something he should be reaping the benefits of for sure 
But then again, if the contract that he signed with Microsoft or Bungie signed back then that all their work was owed to Microsoft and they were the owners of it, well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the issue. That's kind of what the big thing was with Bungie when they made uh, Destiny, that whenever they signed on to these bigger publishers that they wanted to maintain all the rights to Destiny and not hand that over to like Activision at the time or then Tencent and now Sony. But we'll just have to follow the story and see where it leads, guys. But I'll definitely keep you guys up to date if anything updates with this entire situation. It sounds pretty messy, but we'll see what happens. And if you're new to the channel, I'm any content for me recently. Check out the place right here. Get linked to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.